Hey everyone, it's Rena Jadav with the Health Boot Camps and Live Longer podcast. And I have today with me Liliana Partita, and she's going to talk about detox and the importance of detox during weight loss. Why? Because we are launching the amazing weight loss boot camp with her, which I'm so excited about. Liliana, tell us a little bit about detoxing for weight loss. Well, one of the things that I really encourage is creating a detox lifestyle. And so again, this is what we've done is we've taken out any foods that are potential allergens that are going to end up in a fat cell, creating more toxic waste to the body. And at the same time, we want to make sure we hydrate. Hydration is so important because it's our, our internal shower, our lymphatic system. We have twice the amount of lymph fluid as we do blood. And so we need to drink those waters and have those water oriented foods, the salads, the vegetables, things of that nature with the minerals. So because honestly, you know, when you're losing weight, out of those fat cells come toxins. And so it's just a wonderful opportunity to clean house at the same time. So with exercise, you're going to be sweating and releasing some of these toxins through our respiration as well. But I love doing things like detox baths or infrared sauna, mm -hmm. uh, breathing exercises. All of these will be very helpful. Uh, again, the rebounder to encourage lymphatic drainage is so important. And if again, if we're really concentrating on eliminating all of the chemicals, the sugars, things that our, our body has no idea what to do with them, that's already in detoxification modality as well. Um, some of the drinks that I put on there is the turmeric tea drink, which is going to be very supportive uh, for uh, inflammation. But at the same time, it's got the ginger and the turmeric and the pepper and uh, cinnamon and um and lemongrass in there as well. So you've got all of these wonderful hydrating properties. And so um, I encourage all of you to make that turmeric drink out of scratch. It's very, very simple. But again, I also have a recipe for the lazy man version of just using the powdered turmeric and ginger and things of that nature, but it will stimulate your metabolism and also uh, support any, because uh, I love ginger for the simple fact that it really is great, kind of almost like an antibacterial yes. and supports candida. Because honestly, when we are overweight, oftentimes we're going to have issues with our digestive system and we have uh, more what we would consider unfriendly bacteria. And so when we are uh, in detoxification modality, I want you to really pay attention to how, it, how do you feel when I eat something? Do I feel full of energy, mental clarity, or do I fall asleep? And then we know that, you know, you've had foods that are, you know, too high in sugar for yourself. Uh, and at the same time, if I eat something and I get bloaty and gassy, guess what? All of those foods that you just ate are going to end up not fully digested, fermented, and end up in a fat cell. And so if we're already thinking in our minds that we live a detox lifestyle, we're not encouraging eating foods that are not organic. So we have organic foods, pesticide-free, pasture-raised, pasture-finished, and no chemicals in our foods. We are cooking as much as we possibly can so that we know what's going into our foods. We talked about navigating restaurants and, you know, getting a, a, some sort of a, a sauce that has gluten and things of that nature. And so all of these uh, can impact as far as the toxins in our body. So again, if you can spend a little time in the kitchen, it's going to be very rewarding because healing begins in the kitchen. And so again, whether we're doing a turmeric drink or we're doing a hibiscus a tea or we're drinking water, think about Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate is going to be your best and the most effective, um, you know, tool to really work on detoxification as well. Great information, Liliana. So I've heard this before and I want you to clarify it. Is it true that our body absorbs water better when there's something in it, whether it's that hibiscus tea you mentioned or a little bit of lemon or a little bit of salt and sugar? Is that true or can we just hydrate by drinking straight water? Well, you can hydrate by drinking straight water. And honestly, the reason that I do the turmeric, treat, turmeric drink is because it's anti-inflammatory, which is really important um, in regards to weight loss. And the hibiscus tea looks like a cranberry juice. And so on a psychological level, we want things that look pretty. We want things that have a little sweetener so that it kind of tells our brain it's happy. Oftentimes, just drinking plain old water, kind of boring sometimes. I want you to drink water. And so again, uh, what I say is you need to drink half of your body weight in water and it's not caffeinated. And so I'm totally not opposed to having a coffee once a day 
uh, as far as their the drinks. So think about water and uh, one cup of coffee a day, lots of herbal teas. And um, again, a lot of people like the Pellegrino or the bubbly water, but don't let that be your only water because you know, the phosphoric acid in it, and it could create a little bit of osteoporotic issues if that's the only water that you're drinking. So again, I like using the Pellegrino to make like a bubbly lemonade or a ginger ale that I'm making just to kind of get that substitute of that fizziness that we would want to have. And so I would say, you know, drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. But again, at the same time, let's just kind of say for women, six to eight glasses and for men, anywhere from eight to 10, because you're going to be eating, you know, vegetables that are water content oriented as well. And so again, most water uh, isn't really good quality. So we want to make sure that it's not tap water and that you're using good filtered water. People ask me all the time, does it have to be alkaline? And I'd say if you have an alkaline machine, fantastic. But if you don't, you know, just again, a, a reverse osmosis or a purification system is really important because we definitely don't want to have plastic bottles because of the phylates in it, which are hormonal disruptors. And so again, I would say, uh, bring, uh, you know, half of your, you know, at least three quarters of your water uh, without anything in it. And then the other quarter with something that's kind of fun and flavorful that you can take to work and make sure you're drinking. And soups are great too, right? Soups are awesome. And the reason that I love soups is because you can make it a really low, low carbohydrate with lots of liquid. So it's very filling in the gut. And so for example, you know, I love making like a chicken soup or fish chowder or albondiga soup. Now I have added beans to those people who are vegetarian so that they can get their protein. Now, but the other thing is that you'll notice because there are no grains and for people who are vegetarian, that's what they fill up on. And so they might notice that, gosh, you know, I feel a little bit hungrier and I'm used to eating a big bowl of beans and a big bowl of rice. And so they're gonna have a little bit more difficulty. So we really wanna pack it up with a lot of the greens. But again, I'm very clear about how I want them to prepare the beans. So we create it into a more sprouted bean and a resistant starch so that it is less sugar. And it also is going to be more digestible in regards to um, you know, being able to absorb that, those, those foods because we don't really have the enzymes to break beans down. This is why they're so troublesome in terms of bloating and gas. But you'll notice that on the uh, menu plan, uh, people who are not vegans were not having beans in their uh, meal plans because they share both a carbohydrate seat and a protein seat. So again, um, we were gonna just pay attention to keeping the glucose levels as, as low as possible. Fantastic, Liliana, you're amazing. Thank you so much for that great insightful uh, information here for us and for the rest of you. We are gonna see you, I hope, on the Weight Loss Bootcamp where we are going to guarantee that you will have sustained weight loss that stays with you for the rest of your life. Have a great day, Liliana. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day, Rena.